from our experience, if we provide one parking space per unit, we've generally been pretty good. Uh, some people have more than one car, but then what we end up doing is maybe charging for that second space. We end up, uh, and, and when you do that, it's pretty amazing how quickly people find alternative parking or even decide that they don't need the second car, etc. So, uh, again, from my experience, if we, if we do one parking space per unit, we're generally are pretty safe. But as far as options right now, we're looking at um, a couple of options. One, and again, this is just exploratory, is looking at, uh, looking at that hotel building. Um, it was our original intention to try, to try to preserve that, to look at it, but we dug into it. Uh, our architect came out. We uh, spent some time in there with, uh, with Joe Carroll uh, and, and discovered that there are some serious structural defects and some issues with that building. So one option, again, I'm not saying it's the direction we're going right at this moment, but one option would be to take a look at taking the hotel down. We could add about 18 parking spaces that way. Mm -hmm. Those would be very close to the front door, so that makes a lot of sense to us. Mm -hmm. uh, the other is that uh, maybe looking at some other sites around in the neighborhood, we could have a relationship with a property owner where we could maybe lease some of those extra spaces. Uh, those aren't discussions that have... Um, kind of materialized into an agreement yet, but uh, those are the couple of easy options is looking to properties that are off-site or else mm -hmm. maybe looking at increasing parking um, mm -hmm. right on site. Okay. And then, um, so will that, uh, demolishing the hotel, will that affect the number of units that you all are? Um, uh, or was that never intended no, for units? No, no, it wasn't. So what we did okay. is, um, while, while we were designing this building that we presented, currently. Yeah. Uh, our original scheme had units in the hotel when we got to our total unit count, but we redesigned the building a little bit and ended up doing some interesting things by, by t making it into two separate masses, kind mm -hmm. of uh, attached with this neat little atrium element. Once we did that, we, we found room to add those units back into the, oh. to the primary building. So in other words, we weren't counting on those units now. Okay. Uh, were those are going to be extra units or we were going to just see what was going to happen if we dug into it and maybe got some contractors walking through it. But um, I was, um, no pun intended, but I was spooked enough uh, in the hotel to say that there's some really serious defects here that made me think that it may be infeasible to, to remodel. Yeah. And then my other question, um, I think, was uh, there had been, I remember the project um, being contingent on the Wisconsin Housing and Econ Economic right. Development Tax Credits. How right. did that pan out? Well, so it hasn't panned out yet. We okay. actually are applying on March 3rd okay. uh, for tax credits, and right now we're putting together our application. Part of the application is getting the zoning and the approval in place. Um, WIDA is going to look favorably on applicants that have their ducks in a row in mm -hmm. terms of approvals and working with the communities to make sure yeah. that everything is ready to go. So it's shovel ready if, if you get the tax credits. So um, we're going to apply in March, and we'll probably hear in May. And if we hear in May, then by this fall, next mm. fall, I should say, in, uh, in 17, we'd be ready to go. Yeah. So we haven't heard yet, but um, we wouldn't be doing this if we didn't feel like we had a really strong right. chance yeah. um, yeah. of getting those tax credits. Yeah. And um, I guess those are yeah, all my questions. Was there anything else you wanted to add? Or? No, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll just say, and I'm, I'm not just, uh, you know, buttering up the community, but it's really it's been really refreshing. Uh, everybody here in Platteville has understood our concept and uh, they're getting right to the heart of the issues and we're talking about parking, we're talking about nuts and bolts things. Um, it's been really great to work here and mm -hmm. we're looking forward to doing this project today. It's mm -hmm. going to be, it's going to be really, uh, it's really going to be a neat project. It's one of the more exciting things I've been working on recently that has mm -hmm. kind of a mixed use component, some exciting architectural elements, things that I think are going to be really neat for that, uh, mm -hmm. for that gateway entrance, for that corner. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. It would be very cool.